I have here two different styles of starters. So these are starters that go in a vehicle. I'm just showing you the armature assembly right now. So this is an older design. This would go in a fairly large truck, but the coil assembly comes from here to here. Here we have a commutator. We use brushes to push against the commutator to pass electrical current through the coils. And this armature goes a direct drive. It goes all the way down here and will move this gear to turn the motor over. This other assembly right here, this would be in like a Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's a little bit smaller engine, but what we can see a significant difference in, in the armature size. So the armature is this assembly right here. I still have the commutator segments and then the coils that are wrapped around here. If I pull this out, we can see the whole length of the armature assembly. It's actually pretty short in comparison to this larger one. And the way that we deal with that is this armature goes into this geared planetary gear set. And so this is not a direct drive. We actually can speed this motor a lot faster. I use a lower current and still make it possible to be able to start the engine. So the armature is going to spin quite a bit faster than this older design, but the current requirements will be a lot less. This is a slightly different design. This larger section is actually where the solenoid is. So if we look here at this cutaway, here's the solenoid. When we pass electrical current to turn the solenoid on, it actually is the driving force to be able to push this pinion out. And so we can see some gears right here. The armature assembly is actually here on the bottom. And so most starters, you'll look at this, this part right here, and that's the solenoid. But this smaller section on this style of starter, this is actually where the armature is. And up here on the top, this is where my solenoid is. Another interesting thing about this style, so this top one uses these permanent magnets inside the housing. This one actually uses field coils, so you can kind of see the electromagnets right here. So we pass current through these to create a magnetic field, and then that's what's interacting and allowing the motor to rotate around. One last thing I wanted to point out on these motors is on the armature, we have these kind of markings right here. These are made when the armature is manufactured and they're used for balancing. So we want to have a really nice balance. So we're taking material out of here in order to ensure that we have a really good balance and so we have a nice and efficient starter.